Hi, welcome back to Telegenic. I'm Rick McIver. Today, we're going to talk about a few bad habits that you might not even know that you're doing. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm back. Hang on. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm right here. Right here. Hang on. Which, which one's left? This one's left. Hey, I'm back. Sorry. Sorry, I just had to grab my coffee. I left it in the other room by accident. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where were we? I'm sorry. What, what did I miss? Okay. What, where were we? We were talking about something. Oh, right. Um, we were talking about habits. Bad habits. And uh, things that you might not know that you're doing uh, that you need to stop doing. <clears throat> okay, so a habit is something that you do automatically, something that you don't even, you, you, something, a habit is something you do automatically, oh god, stop, <sighs> seriously, gosh, okay, look, Ralph, Ralph, the, it's, it's just, the, it's just, the, it's just the postman, all right, look, there's a package, all right, cut it out. Okay. All right. Oh boy. Can you guess what today's episode is about? <laughs> oh, there's a lot to unpack there. All right. First off, I want to say, look, everyone understands we're all in the same boat. We're all working in an environment that is less than ideal. Things happen. It's okay. But there's a few things you can do to make it a little easier. Number one, Treat all your video conferences like regular face-to-face -face meetings. Look, you wouldn't get up and go grab some coffee from the other room while you're in the middle of a conversation with someone in person. So don't do it when you're on a video conference. Make sure that before you start your video conference, you have everything around you that you need. Tip number two, be proactive. Look, we understand things happen right? Interruptions are going to happen. You're working from home. You're in a situation where it's less than ideal and you can't control everything around you. But the point here is to be proactive. Let people know ahead of time that you have a dog that might bark. Uh, you're expecting a delivery. Um, your 10-year-old might pop into the room and look for a hug or something. And that's all okay. Everyone understands we're all in this together. Which brings me to my third point. Tip number three, mute, mute, mute. That's right. If you do get interrupted, it's okay. Just mute your camera and mute your audio. Familiarize yourself with where the microphone mute is and where the camera mute is before you start your meeting. Muting is not a big deal, and it's much better than the alternative, which brings me to my next point. Tip number four, stay put. Please, please, please don't walk around with your phone or your tablet or even your laptop while you're on a video call. At best, it's distracting, and at worst, it is nauseating. Please don't do it. If you have to move, that's fine. Just mute your camera and your microphone, go do what you have to do, and then get settled before you turn your camera back on. We will all thank you. Okay, I hope these tips were helpful. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.